Hi, welcome to the OIA YouTube channel. My name is Yvonne Kelly. Today we're going to take a look at the iManage Work Mobility app for iOS devices and I'll be running through some of the day-to-day -day functions including how to edit documents. Let's get started. iManage Work Mobility for iOS can be deployed as a managed app through mobile device management by administrators. Alternatively, if this is not an option, the app can be downloaded from the App Store and a configuration file applied. The app can be set up to be accessed via a passcode, touch or face ID. The app uses the authentication method mechanism that is in place for iManage work, therefore providing consistent behaviour for the end user. For example, this could be via a single sign-on that is authenticated through OpenID or SAML. Let's start by browsing the iManage work structure. You start off in recent documents. To switch between lists, use the menu in the top left corner. Let's switch to Recent Matters. Now let's move to My Matters and use the Ford category to see Ford's workspaces. Back to Recent Documents. Let's use Sort By. This allows you to sort and view documents by activity date, edited, created or name allowing me to quickly find what I'm looking for. The app remembers your sort preference. Filters allow you to refine your view. Recent documents defaults to share anything edited or viewed in the last 30 days. Update your filter settings. The app will remember these settings. The blue dot indicates I've made updates to the filter. Click clear all to return to the default settings. The panel on the right displays properties, versions and preview. Tap properties to display and edit the properties of an item. Tap versions to view the versions of a document. Tap preview to preview the document. Tap the arrows to access full screen preview. Zoom in and out. Use the action menus on a document to access various commands. These action menus are also available when previewing a file and against each individual version of a file. You might want to rename a document or contact the author and operator via email to ask for permission to edit the file. Let's open the timeline. The timeline provides full audit trail by activity, user, list or version and also indicates a document's collaboration. Let's take a look at document security details. I can change the default security of the document. I could add a user and set their level of access. Let's browse to a filed email. I can view the properties of an email and tap preview to preview the email. I can pinch and zoom in the body of the email. To preview attachments, tap attachments, then the required attachment. Emails can be displayed in conversation threads. Access the main menu, tap settings. Now slide the toggle for email view. Notice the email thread icon. Tap to display all emails in the thread where actions can be performed for individual emails. You can open an NRL link from your inbox. Locate the email, tap the NRL link, Choose to open it using iManage Work. The item will be displayed. NRL links can be opened from the email stored in iManage. Locate the email. Tap Attachments and then tap the NRL link. The item will be displayed. Let's take a look at searching. Tap the magnifying glass. 
a basic or advanced search is available. You can choose to search for documents, emails, matters, folders or clients by tapping here. Enter your search criteria. Use the toggle to choose to search over document name, content and other details. Once ready, click search. Search results are displayed. Use sort to help organise search results. View personalised results or all database results using the tabs. Use filters to further refine search results. Use recent searches to rerun a search. Now let's search for a matter. From the search results, select the required matter and navigate to the required item. I am now in the agreements folder. Notice if I access search again, I have the option to search within this folder only. Let's access advanced search. Tap the tabs across the top to switch between searching for documents, emails, matters, folders or clients. Using a document search, let's add some additional criteria. Let's tap client and select the client forward. Tap search. Search results are displayed, all documents for the client forward. Tap the tabs across the top to change the container criteria and therefore the number of results displayed. Use all, personalised or in this case agreements, the folder we were in when we started the search. If I access search again, the app remembers the type of search last used. Recent searches displays the last 10 searches. I can refine the search criteria or perform the search again by tapping it. Tap cancel to exit the search. Tap back to exit search results and return to your previous location in iManage. To share content, swipe left on an item to copy a link to your device's clipboard. Now paste where required, for example, in a new message to a colleague. Alternatively, tap an item's action menu to share the item by email as an NRL link or a file attachment. Select the required method, tap email. Choose the app to send the email via, for example, mail or Outlook. Complete all email details as normal and send. You can open an item and edit it using Microsoft Office. Locate the item to be edited, tap actions, tap edit. The edit icon is also located in the documents preview. Choose the app you want to use to edit the item, for example, Microsoft Word. The document opens and is checked out to you. Notice we are working in version 15. Make your edits. Swipe back to the iManage app. A new version of the document is automatically created. This contains your edits, in this case, version 16. To continue to make edits, swipe back to the Office app. Further edits are saved to that new version. Any changes are saved when you swipe back to the iManage app. With the edits completed, the final step is to check in the document. Tap Actions, tap Check In. If we access the document's timeline, we can see it's been worked on using the iOS Mobility app. You may need to annotate a PDF. Locate the PDF, previewing it in the panel. Tap the blue arrows to access full screen preview. Tap the annotation icon. Use the pen. Change the pen colour. Use the highlighter. Again, change its colour. Use the text tool. Noting this text will be searchable using keyword search. Tap 
done. Decide how you would like to save the PDF annotations. In this case, we'll save as a new version. Using side by side mode on an iPad, we can quickly file emails. Drag the email from your inbox onto the required iManage folder. The folder opens, drop the email as indicated. You can also file multiple emails. You can open two instances of the Mobility app. This could be useful when previewing one item and locating another to grab content. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the OIA YouTube channel. See you next time.